Good morning, good morning. We're going to do something a little bit different this morning. I told you that I was going to feature my t-shirts in one of my vlogs. Well, I'm going to feature them in a somewhat different way. First, before I get started, let me thank my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Please do. I aim to uplift and encourage you during your day. And I'm going to try to do that every day this month. So please subscribe so that you don't miss any of the messages or my way of inspiring you. Now we're going to move from this spot. And I am going to feature some of my t-shirts as I previously stated. Every morning, I spend time with God. And I will read a scripture, some commentary, and spend some time in prayer. And this morning, I got a revelation for this vlog today using my t-shirts. So let's get started with the video. Each day, my prayer is that I will live in such a way that if someone follows me, they will also be following Jesus. I want to live so that if someone follows me, they also follow Jesus. Now, I'm going to take this hat off of my head. You'll understand why I started with this hat eventually eventually as i was reading my devotion this morning the question came to me and i placed it on my facebook page and i asked the question of others but i also asked that question of myself how do i fit in history really how do I fit into his story? Later on, I heard a minister that I was listening to this morning because now that we are having all these online churches, I can go to two and three churches on Sunday. So I heard one young man say that the author of our story is God, which fit right in with my question that I had asked previously, how do I fit in history? Let's go there. Let's go there. We have to learn how to seek and use wise counsel. I'm going to take you back to when I was a teenager. Like most teenagers, I knew everything. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew how I was going to do it. But then as a teenager, I lived in the house of Miss Julia. That was my mama. And the way things were going to be done was the way she said it was going to be done and how she said it was going to be done. My mom ruled with a stern hand. She didn't play with us, but everything she did for us was done in love. I've jotted down a few notes, and right now I already know that I have left these notes, but that's okay, because I know the story. When I was in high school, I was number two in my class, but I was not going to college. And I told my mother that. And she said to me, the only way you're not going to college is over my dead body. And I'm not going anywhere soon. That just gives you an idea of the kind of woman that she was. My mother was also a woman of God. 
So my mother prayed for me and she lived a life of integrity in front of me. And I would never talk back to my mom. As much as I may have thought about things to say, I knew better than to say it. As time went by, I did say to my mother that I wanted to go to a two-year college instead of four years. At the time, I didn't know why mama wanted me to go to a four-year college, but she made it clear that I was going to a four-year college. I was gonna go to South Carolina State College, but I wanted to go to a two-year college. Well, she didn't just knock that idea down. She asked me why I wanted to go to a two-year college. And I told her, if I go to a four-year college, when I get out of college, all the jobs was going to be gone. That tells you how much I knew. My mama just chuckled and said, girl, that's why God gave you parents. Because you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about and you're going to go to a four-year college. So that's where I went. Almost kicking and screaming. I cried while I packed my bags. And I did go. During my senior year, I tried not to go. I tried not to fill out applications. I tried not to take the SAT. As much as I tried, God was working things out in my favor. And that my guidance counselor kept calling me back to the office kept calling me back to the office. And because of my humbleness, I did exactly what they told me to do. And I realize now that God was working it out in my favor. I can remember the day that my mom and I went to South Carolina State to make sure that all my fees were paid so that I could go to school. And I went there and we went to the building. We went to the finance office. And as we were standing there, we gave them my name. And the man told my mom how much she needed to pay that year. And they told her $3. And she said, no, I'm talking about for everything that she needs. $3. She paid the $3, and as we walked out, she let me relive all that over again, what I just told you. God was working it out in my favor. So I went to South Carolina State. I didn't always do what mama wanted me to do. There were things that I did behind her back. And so I ended up pregnant my freshman year of college. I ended up getting married my freshman year of college. And my mom told my fiance, boyfriend, soon to be husband. I put her in college. She's marrying you. And you better make sure that she finishes. I took a semester off from college and my husband reminded me of what my mama said. Well, I did graduate from college. My mom was an example to me, even when it came to education. You see, my mom didn't have her high school degree, but she always tried to better herself. She went to what we call now adult ed, but she went to night school. She earned her high school degree in 1972. I earned my high school degree in 1977. I am going to make this story as short as possible. But in the comments below, I want you to tell me your takeaway from this story. As time went by, I graduated college, married. Mama started asking, when are you gonna get your master's? That was not in the cards. That was not in my plan. I had one child 
Now I'm trying to find a job. And I did find a job. You guys, my first job was as a vacuum cleaner salesperson. Not counting that I was a cashier when I was in college. During that time as a vacuum cleaner salesperson, the administrative assistant or secretary in the office lost her job. They gave that job to me. Now, I want you to know that this is what kept happening in my life. Someone would lose a job. Someone would call me and tell me about a job. So I wasn't really on the hunt for, for a job very often. But I couldn't have done that without the education that my mom forced me to earn. I don't know if I'm going to finish this story in this setting. But I want you to know that my mom had a great impact on my life. That even as I sit here right now and I hold her hat in my hand and I put it on my head every now and then. I put it on my head just to remind me of who I am and where I came from. The scripture that I read came from the book of Mark. And it was in reference to John the Baptist. And that John the Baptist was the forerunner for Jesus Christ. He was preparing the way for Jesus to come. My mom stood before me as a woman of integrity, ruled with a strong hand, was a single mom from my age of seven to my age of 17. She taught me the best that she knew. But whatever she taught me was taught in love. Now, I end this story today. Give me a minute. Whatever my mom did for me, she did in love. Because of what my mom did for me in pointing the way in preparing the way, I live the way I live now. Blessed and highly favored. And I say that because my mom always pointed me to the word. I remember when I had low self, as my mama would say it, esteem. But because of the way that she walked before me, I now walk upright with my head held high, knowing who I am in Christ, knowing the way I should walk before my children, knowing the example that I should set. And I've tried to live that way. I didn't want to be like her. But because of the strong influence, I am like her. And I accept it now. Because I've been told that so many times. I accept it now. And I am honored to say that I am one of Julia's children. What I want you to do today in the comment section below is tell me what you received from this story. Did it impact you at all? From my mom, I learned to accept and act on wise counsel because I saw that she was a wise woman and I thanked her for what she has done for me over and over again. And even on her deathbed, I said, thank you, mama. Thank you, Julia Ladson, Desasaur, Morton, 
pause for your impact on my life. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.